If you're thinking of immigrating to Canada or if you have settled here recently, you must have wondered which is the best city for you to settle in this beautiful country. Although there are many wonderful cities in Canada like Ottawa, Quebec City, Edmonton, Winnipeg, Halifax, but this video is the ultimate comparison between four of the most popular cities in Canada. So in this video, you're gonna see Toronto versus Vancouver versus Montreal versus Calgary. Wow, it is going to be a clash of titans and in this clash, we will compare these cities based on various factors like geography so you get to understand the city better. We will discuss about the weather, the people living there, cost of living, crime rate, various job sectors and even the mode of public transportation. This frame has come up to look so colorful and I promise the video will be equally helpful to you. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Okay guys, in the past I've made this video before about Toronto versus Vancouver, about Toronto versus Montreal. But I asked you if you want to see the video about Toronto versus Calgary or Toronto versus Montreal versus Calgary. But you said you want to see Toronto versus Vancouver versus Montreal versus Calgary. So here is that video. But before I start this video, let me tell you that now I am there on Instagram as well. I've recently joined Insta. So if you're there on Instagram, please connect with me over Insta at Dreamers Abroad. Please note my ID is Dreamers Abroad. It's not Dream Abroad. Okay, now let's get back to the epic clash of these four Canadian cities. Talking of the geography of these four cities, so this is the map of Canada. Now Toronto is there towards the south of Ontario. Not very far from there, just an overnight journey from Toronto is Montreal towards the south of Quebec. Similarly, Vancouver is there towards the south of British Columbia and Calgary is located over there in the province of Alberta. Okay, now Toronto is the largest city of Canada, which makes it obviously the largest city of Ontario as well. Montreal is the second largest city of Canada, but the largest city of Quebec. Similarly, Vancouver is the third largest city of Canada, but the largest city of British Columbia and Calgary is the fourth largest city of Canada, but the largest city of Alberta. Now talking of Toronto, it is actually surrounded by Lake Ontario, Humber, Don and Rough Rivers. Montreal has St. Lawrence and River de Paris Rivers. Vancouver is surrounded by English Bay, Burrard Inlet and Fraser River, while Calgary has got Bow and Elbow Rivers. The land of Toronto is mostly flat, while of Montreal and Vancouver is both flat and hilly while in Calgary it's quite hilly and not very flat. Now if you're a beach person you'll definitely love Toronto because of its lovely beaches and around 50 kilometers of lakeshore. Montreal hasn't got any beaches but Vancouver definitely has got beautiful beaches and Calgary hasn't got any beaches either. Talking of mountains, if you're a mountain person then Toronto will disappoint you but Montreal won't and Vancouver and Calgary also have beautiful mountains. All the cities are urban cities but rich with natural beauties as well. While Toronto has got a huge lakeshore, living in Montreal you can enjoy the French lifestyle and architecture. While Vancouver is super naturally beautiful, Calgary is no less. Calgary is surrounded by beautiful mountains so you can actually enjoy urban lifestyle and the natural beauty in these cities as well. Okay, now let's talk about the cost of living. I am sure many people would be interested in this section. Many people would be interested to know which city is the most expensive out of the four and which city is the more affordable one. So for that, I'll take you to this lovely website numbio.com where you can find the details of the cost of living for each and every city around the world. So for Toronto, you can see that the cost of living index is mentioned as 75.26. For Vancouver, it is mentioned as 74.25. For Montreal, it is mentioned as 66.05. And for Calgary, it is 72.53. So if you want to set these cities from the most affordable ones to the most expensive ones to handle, Montreal would be the first one and it would be followed 
by Calgary, then it would be Vancouver, then Toronto. When you come to this website, you can see the rates, various rates mentioned over here. The prices are mentioned for almost everything. So you can see the rent per month in city center in Toronto is around 2,237. In Vancouver, it's around 2,064. In Montreal, it's around 1,287. And in Calgary, it's even cheaper. It's just $1,200. So probably Calgary is the cheapest in terms of the rent and Toronto is the highest. It's the most expensive one in terms of the rent. Before COVID, it was even more expensive. In the last few months, it has been a bit more affordable, but still too expensive to handle. I won't go into too much detail into these details that are mentioned here. If you want, you can come over to this website, numbio.com and actually compare the cost of living for all of these cities or any city that you're actually interested in. But for now, you see that Montreal is the most affordable one, while Toronto is the most costliest one to handle. Coming over to our next factor, weather. It is one of the most crucial factor when deciding about the city you want to live, especially in Canada. As obviously Canada is famous for its harsh and cold weather. So in this table, I've got the temperatures for the last one year for all the four cities, the minimum and the maximum temperature. Starting with Toronto, you can see that from November to February, the temperature is very low. It can go even to minus 20 degrees Celsius. And the month of July, it can even go up to 35 or 36 degrees. And Montreal is very similar. In Montreal also, you would see very similar temperatures. However, the climate of Montreal is even more harsh because when it comes to winters, you can see this year in February, it went down to around minus 25 degrees Celsius. And when it comes to summers, you can see in May, it was 37 degrees Celsius. So such a big transition of temperature in just a couple of months time. Talking of Vancouver, probably the best temperature out of all of these four. In winters, the normal temperature in Vancouver is around zero degree or minus one, minus two. The general temperature in summers, the temperature is around 24 to 26 degrees. Generally, you can see the maximum temperature is not even 30 degrees. There's such a lovely weather in summers. I'm talking of Calgary here because it's from Alberta. Alberta is famous for its cold weather. You can see how brutal it can get in the month of January and February. In the month of January, it was minus 32 degrees. And similarly, starting October to March, it is super cold there in Calgary. However, in summers, you would see some really good weather. So in this factor, Vancouver wins the race for sure. Now let's talk about the population and the crime rate. It's so important to know about the people of the city. What language do they speak? What is their ethnicity? So let's talk about the population of Toronto first. So the native Canadians in Toronto are around 50%, around 12% South Asian, 11% Chinese and 5% Filipino around 46% immigrants live there. Now these are the statistics from 2016 census and things have changed a lot. According to a recent report that I read, more than 50% population of Toronto is now immigrant population. Now talking about Vancouver, around 46% people living in Vancouver are native Canadians, around 6% are South Asians and 28% are Chinese and 6% are Filipino as well. Around 40% people living in Vancouver are immigrants. Talking of Montreal, Montreal is basically a hub of European people. The primary language of Montreal is French. Most people living in Montreal prefer speaking French over English. So there are around 63% Europeans over there, people from Italy, France, Spain and other countries. Around 9% Africans. 3% South Asians and around 13% Chinese. Overall, there are around 23% of immigrants living in Montreal. Again, these are the statistics from 2016 census. Now, Calgary has around 67% Native Canadians, 8% South Asian, 7% Chinese and 5% Filipino. Total immigrant population is around 33% in Calgary. Okay, now let's talk about the crime rate. It's so important to know the city where we want to move, is it actually safe or not? 
So the crime rate of Toronto is around 38. For Vancouver, it's around 36. For Montreal, it's around 29. And for Calgary, it's around 34. Now these numbers might not mean much to you. So if you want to understand how safe are these cities, let me compare this to one of the Indian cities. Let me compare it to Bangalore. The crime index of Bangalore is around 52. So now you know that these cities are much more safer than many other cities around the world. And out of these four cities, Montreal wins the race because it is the safest city with around 71% safety index. All right, now let's talk about the public transport. It is so important for a city to have great public transportation infrastructure. If a city has got a really good transportation infrastructure, then the people would actually use the public transport instead of their personal cars or other vehicles. All the four cities have got really good infrastructure. They've got trains. They can take you in and out of the cities and to other cities of Canada. Then they've got local buses as well. All these four cities have got real-time updates over Apple Maps, Google Maps. So actually you don't have to worry too much about their timings. They give the real-time updates. Then talking of the metro service, Toronto has got a very old metro service but is the lifeline of Toronto. Vancouver has got SkyTrain which is a very automated service. Then in Montreal they've got metros as well. In Calgary they've got C-Train which is actually a metro service but also serves as a streetcar as it goes underground and on the streets as well. Talking of streetcars, Toronto has got a really good streetcar system which covers almost all of Toronto and it's really fun to travel in that streetcar and also drive along with that streetcar on the roads of Toronto while Vancouver and Montreal haven't got any streetcars. And talking of the water transport, Toronto's got ferries which can take you from downtown Toronto to the Toronto Islands. Similarly, Vancouver has got sea bus which can actually take you from the coastal area to various islands of Vancouver. And Montreal has also got ferry for its rivers, but there's no water transport in Calgary as such. Now talking of the airports, all the four cities have got domestic and international airports, which can make you travel from US and also from all the other major cities around the world, including many Indian cities as well. All right, now let's talk about the various job sectors in the four cities. Because these are four urban cities, the top level cities of Canada, they've got a lot of job sectors, but I'm just listing out some of the key job sectors which actually thrive the economy. So for Toronto, the various job sectors are finance, technology, media, tourism, and life sciences. Toronto is actually the economic hub of Canada and it contributes to around 20% of the GDP of Canada. So you can understand the economic significance of the city. Vancouver, on the other hand, is also another hub and it has got key industries like technology, trade, film, TV, tourism, and construction. Now talking about Montreal, the key industries in Montreal are aerospace, pharmaceuticals, technology, textile manufacturing, tourism, and transportation. Talking of Calgary, aerospace, agribusiness, energy, financial services, life sciences, and technology. We see some of them are pretty common, like technology is common because these four cities are the hub of technology jobs. So all people related to IT would definitely find jobs in these four cities. There are other cities like uh, Ottawa and Edmonton, etc., where you would definitely find the IT jobs. But yes, these four cities are the prime cities for the IT jobs. All right, so that's it. That was all the information that I wanted to provide you through this video. I just hope that you liked the video. If you did, please click the thumbs up button. If you have any comments, any feedback, and if you have any specific preference for any of these CDs, please let me know in the comment section below. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please click the subscribe button because you'll keep getting very important videos like these in the near future for sure. Thanks again for watching this video.